Yeah, and, and failure should be a learning experience. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it comes down to. That's what people forget when you do fail. Okay, what do I have to learn here, and and how do I get to that place where I want to go? It's it's just all a learning experience. Yeah, it, you know what? It's it's funny. My my fiance jokes. He played D three rugby, and I don't think they they like won three games in four years. It was you know he says that he did not experience the success I had. Yeah. So, you know, I, he was joking with me and he's like, yeah, you want to learn about failing? Come, come ask me, <laughs> but he come made play a good rugby. Point. Yeah. Right. He's, but he made a good point. He was like, it's not, it, failing doesn't change. It's just how we view it. The second we stop viewing it as a learning experience or an opportunity, that's when it becomes a failure, a, yeah. you know? So it was, it was a, it was a solid point from <laughs> someone who's experienced <laughs> yeah. more of it. someone outside, outside your realm. Right, right. It is. It's always. It's always helpful. I think to bounce ideas off of it. But it. It's true. The second you start viewing this as something that is, well, I've just. It's crushed me. I'm never going to recover from this, or whatever it may be. Instead of, well, how can I learn from this? How can I get better from this? How can I use this to pivot into a new direction? That's when it's actually a failure. But you know, before that, when you, if you're having that opportunity opportunistic viewpoint of failing, it's 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 more learning than anything else. How how can we? How can parents? Um, how can they help their kids f- and navigate this failure and, and own their failure? How, what advice would you have for parents um, instead of just kind of pointing out all the flaws of a kid's performance or a player's performance, trying to help them on the mental side as well. And in this case, owning failure. Sure. And um, I, I wish, you know, I, I work with so many athletes and I wish it wasn't the case where parents were pointing out so many of these failures, but, or their shortcomings or, Hey, you look, why does it look like this? And, you know, they're just trying to help. The parents are not trying to put their kids down. They're trying to help to get them to the next thing. And they're like, well, if I tell them what I see, it's going to help them figure it out and help them improve. When in actuality, they're really pouring these outcome or results into their head instead of process. Right. So it's like, Hey, I saw your hands looked really weird on the swing. Um, you know, I, what happened to there? What happened when you, when you missed that ground ball? And it's hard because a lot of these parents might've not played the game or may have not, might've not played it at the high level. So they're viewing it from such an outside perspective and they're trying so hard to infiltrate how this feels. Like, how does she just take a pitch down the middle? Like where you and I know we've been probably at the plate in really anxiety ridden states where, or the pitcher just was disguising something and that pitch didn't, wasn't actually down the middle. It looked like it was going to hit me and then ended up, you know, across the middle. Right. So there's more to the story there. So I just would encourage parents to just one, if you don't understand the game as much, have a conversation with your athlete and just talk to them. Be like, Hey, how'd you feel about today? Like try to get an idea of what, how they're seeing the game, because that's more important than how you're seeing it. Right. And if we're really actually trying to help them. And then I think listening to the language too, and listening to, when they are seeking that advice to get better, or if they are just seeking like, Hey, I just need to have a conversation about this. Cause I got so many negative self taught, you know, things going on in my head right now. Um, so it's, it's the same thing as a coach is I can't coach every athlete the same because every athlete's going to need something different. Their son or daughter or daughter are going to probably need something different depending on the day. And we as mentors, coaches, parents might need to, will definitely need to adapt to, to meet, our kid where they're at or meet their, our athlete where they're at um, to work with them on that. But yeah, help them become more aware. Be like, Hey, do, do we think that's a productive phrase? What you just thought there? It's like, well, no, probably not. Right. <laughs> you know, 